Hi, this is PD at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and today's tutorial is going to be outlining our weapon class. Now we've already done the, the thought process on it from uh, the live show number one. So all we're really going to do is just create the, the basic script. So I'm going to go back into my scripts. It's going to go under items. We're going to create a new script. It will be C sharp. And I'll just call this weapon. Double click to open up Mono Develop. And first thing I'll do is make sure that it inherits from Buff Item. And then I'll rename it. I'll get rid of my start and my update. Now, the properties we had defined for this that we wanted were max damage, which is going to be an integer. Uh, we wanted a float for damage variance. Uh, float for max range and then a damage type which is going to be an enumeration so let's set that enumeration up now so we called the enumeration damage type so we'll make it a public enum and we're calling it damage type and then in here you can go ahead and list all your damage types uh, I'm going to start off with uh, three basic ones, which are going to be sort of a physical damage. And I'll call those bludgeon. That's spelt wrong. I'll have to check the spelling on that later, but I'm going to call it bludgeoning. Uh, let's have a piercing damage type. And a slash. And then let's also add some sort of elemental damage types too. So of course you got the basic fire, ice, uh, lightning, and let's do acid. Can anyone tell what they're from? <laughs> so you can add as many as you want. I'm just going to leave it like this. Uh, the important thing to note is my first three here. I'm always going to have set to be like the basic type. So generally when you find an item, the chances are it's going to be of these first three types. And then everything after that will be kind of like a specialty type, more rare. And then you can even add even rare ones after that. But depending how you set yours up, if you're going to set yours up to have more rare types of damage, you might want to take note on where they're going to start. Okay, so I have my damage type done. Now I'm not going to need any sort of collections in here. And I'll just get rid of the Unity Engine too. Okay, so first off we want max damage, so private, int, and max damage. Then we want a private, float, damage variance I say damage bar do we want a private float max range now there was one thing I was thinking about here where you could also have a min range, so your ranged weapons. So let's say you have a bow in your game. You couldn't use this weapon if you're within a certain range. Uh, most games let you use your bow, though, even if you're right in their face. So I'm just going to leave it with just a max range. So if someone's you know 20 game units away, I can't hit him with my sword. But my bow will have a max range of, let's say, 30 units. So I'm going to use max range, not min range. Then, of course, a private damage type. And I'm just going to call this DMG type. Now, let's create our default constructor. So, public weapon. And we'll set some default values for these. So, max damage is equal to zero. Then we'll say damage variance is equal to zero. And we'll say max range 
is equal to zero. <laughs> and our damage type. And I'm going to make this equal to uh, the first one, which will be bludgeoning. Now I'm also going to want to create an overloaded constructor, so when we're loading a weapon up from a save file, we can just dump all the stuff into it and have it automatically populate our variables for us. So public weapon, almost the same, except now we got to pass in parameters. So the first one's an int, and I'm just going to say it's m damage or DMG. Next will be a float, which is our DMG variance. Next would be another float, and it's going to be our M range. And the next one is a damage type, and I'll just call that DT. So now we just got to assign the values that we're passing in to our variables. So this will be oh, M damage. And the damage variance was DMGV. Max range was M range. And our damage type was just DT. Now let's also make some public setters and getters for all these variables. So public, the first one is an int, and we're just going to call it max damage. So we need a get and a set. And <laughs> not what I was looking for, get. It doesn't want to play today. And it's going to return our max damage. And we'll set. Ah, it's just not working. I'm going to have to. Ah, don't include those. <laughs> okay, so let's move on to our damage variance. So public float is the return type. And it's going to be damage variance. And we'll want to get and a set. And the getter just returns our variable, which is DMG variance. And the setter just assigns DMG variance equal to the value we're going to pass in. Now we're going to create our max range public setter and getter. So this is another float type. And let's call it max range. And we want the get and the set. And the get just returns our max range. If I spell return right. Forget the underscore. And for set, we'll just set our max range to equal the value passed in and damage type so public damage type and uh, we'll call this damage kind we want it to be different than damage type I guess we could say type of damage for now And we'll want to get 
and a set. And for the getter, we're just going to return our damage type. And for our setter, we'll assign the damage type. Now that's pretty much it for our outline for our weapons class. Uh, let me just go into Unity, make sure there's no typos. None are popping up. And like the rest of our classes, if we have to come back in and refactor, we will. Okay, well, that looks like that's about it for this class. I'll see you in the next video.